kusimama wote kwa jina la Yesu Kristo kwa kumheshimu Mungu Baba kwa jina la Yesu Kristo tunakushukuru kwa jinsi vile ulivyo Mungu mkuu Pokea sifa na utukufu e Bwana mfalme wa falme na kushukuru kwa ajili ya sule ewe Jehova na kushukuru kwa mwalimu mkuu wa sule hii na kushukuru kwa walimu wote wanaofanya kazi chini yake na kushukuru kwa kila mfanyakazi e Jehova Asante kwa watoto wanafunzi wote walio katika shule hii na kushukuru kwa viongozi wote na wageni waheshimiwa walio karibishwa Baba Mungu wa majeshi tunapoanza sherehe hii tunaomba uwepo wako utukufu na nguvu zako Bwana ziwe pamoja nasi Wacha ikawe yenye amani na furaha Wacha ikawe yenye mafunzo na baraka kwa kila mmoja nguvu zote za giza twazikemea kwa jina la Yesu Kristo zikabariki kushindwa Tunawaombea na hata wale walio njiani wanaosafiri kufika mahali hapa kwa ajili ya ile sherehe. Bwana wafunike kwa damu ya Yesu Kristo, wafike salama salamini, na jina lako litukuzwe kwa jina la Yesu Kristo naomba nikiamini. Amen.
Good, good, good.
Educating our grandchild helps to improve life and health. Educated grandchild, educated, educated adults, educating our grandchild can assist to bring an awareness of the importance of good life and health. Secondly, it helps to bring praise to up a professional fashion. Since an educated girl can choose on her next career or profession that she wants to pursue. Thirdly, educating a girl child helps to bring a positive change for future generations. Offering girls to education is, is a primary step in developing future generations for a healthy, educated, and empowering girls. Educated women of the community can become future leaders, direct towards transformation, and bring up more powerful and significant change in our society. Third, fourthly, fourthly educating a girl child helps to strengthen the economy and advance the fight and poverty. Since an educated girl child can become someone dependable in life who can change the state of her person, her society, and her nation in general. In conclusion, I like to urge you, my fellow citizens, to support girl child education because it helps to bring a positive and a significant change in our nation. May God bless you all and thank you for listening to my speech. Thank you. Thank you very much. Sia mimi kasirika ametoka nyumbani. Niacha mama na mtoto vile tunafanyaga. Tunawaja mama na watoto nyumbani. Wase kujifunza. Mimi na baba yako tunapenda. Na chao mnanipenda mama. Ndio maana mnanisomesha na mnanipea karo. Na kuombea Maulana nyota yako ijidi kunawa katika masomo. Amina mama. Jambo ambalo sitapitisha ni kuwa babako ameadhibia ukubwani. Unamaanisha nini mama? Babako kuna wimbo anaoimba. Papa ana nini? Amepata na baka ni? Hii ni jambo ambalo linahitaji utafiti mkubwa. Hata tunaomba uniambie. Babako anataka kuhakikisha masomo ile ya kuona. Kila Kila aliwezekana Mama ya kuona siko mbali na fikra zangu. Nataka nisome nije niwe rubani pale ya masomo yangu. Hao ni nini? Hao ni nyote? Mimi simoni huyo baba yako.
Ngombe ya msichana ndiyo imekuja. Ngombe mzee asiauza msichana. Eh.
wetu wa Heshima ambaye ni director wa TSC kaunti yetu ya Nandi si mwingine ni mheshimiwa Regina nasema karibu uh, uh, hapa kwetu uh, sijui sisi ni wakaaji hapa pia tunataka kumkaribisha mheshimiwa wetu uh, mheshimiwa Kitur ambaye ni MP wetu wa Nandi Hills uh, tunasema karibu na uh, pia tunaye uh, sub county uh, director of education uh, wetu msau jina kidogo na tunasema karibu na uh, pia principal wetu uh, mama titi ambaye anatupenda tunasema asante and the entire board uh, board sasi na PTA uh, tunasema kwamba usikie mko nyumbani tumekaribishwa hapa Sojoy Girls. Uh, wazee wetu ambao walianzisha hii shule uh, kama mzee Bargetun, kama mzee Kipwej, kama mzee uh, Samuel ambao alikuwa assistant chief hapa. Uh, they used to tell us karibu hapa Sojoy Girl. Uh, they used to say Sojoy Girl. So tunasema asante. Uh, hata kuna mzee mmoja hapa nimemwona Jeffrey Mama mzee. These are the founders kuje mbele hapa uh, maybe unajua shule inapoendelea wengine wanasaulika uh, this is the man who is really behind this school uh, si mshangilie jameni hata kupiga tu makofi peke yake yes hapa mahali mmesimama ilikuwa ni forest hapa mahali mnasimama ilikuwa ni forest na vile mnajua we have the government forest around huyu mzee Jeffrey ndiye alienda Nairobi alikuwa anatumwa alikuwa kijana ya wazee ndiye alikuwa anatumwa Nairobi uh, to secure this land uh, once this land was actually the government forest it was hived out of the forest because of the construction ya hii barabara uh, hii barabara bana sub county director na director ilikuwa inapita huko kena Nairobi ilikuwa naenda huko so when the new road the damak road was constructed back 1982 83 sasa ikakata hii forest kidogo wazee wetu wakaomba hapa uh, ikuwe shule so by then sojoy boys was there and the elders thought of actually the girl child and they came up with this idea of having this uh, school so mmoshangilia wazee natua shida ni kwamba kutiwa binadamu kila wakati tunasahau wanzilishi so ngote mtengo nyanyu usikinyu rani uwazi stau mie maiti upinge jerob jukararo nen ona ule mi bi jegi leban karama jigiru yorani jigiru yatimdo asi orani otinye skule ne gigure so joy girls where you can come proudly uh, with your girls eh wasome so awaze tunawaheshimu and we want to say thank you for those elders eh uh, hata mimi pia nilikuwa kijana mdogo i was just around si kufanya mengi bwana mheshimiwa but i was just here to be sent as an elder boy nilikuwa natumwa kimbia lete sukari na nyama ipigwe nikimbia si hata mimi nishangilie jamani sasa hiyo nilikuwa ni kazi kubwa hiyo miti ambayo mnakaa nyuma yake hiyo ilipandwa na Henry Koskei na hiyo ingine ambayo mnaona hiyo kama hiyo hapo mbele ilipandwa na mzee Barnetun na mzee Moi. Mzee Moi was we were lucky mzee Moi visited this place twice. Uh, mzee Moi is actually the one who gave us this land. Uh, Mrs. Sao. Mzee Moi. Nikupatia sisi nali shuka hapa mara mbili akitaka kuona msichana wa Nandi amesoma tunaelewana uh, our chief guest director vile uh, tuliambiwa na PS PS Belio was supposed to be here today as a chief guest lakini ametuma udhuru ametuma udhuru an apology uh, kwamba akaweza kufika kwa sababu moja kubwa sana one of his colleagues ambaye ni PS in charge of uh, technical schools lost a child so most of the PSs wameenda huko 
Konsol ama to Farinji abu Zao. So that's why to PS akuweza kupika na ametuma hiyo uduru ama ametuma hiyo apology kwamba it will still be coming uh, lakini ametuma uh, mama uh, Regina aje hapa ili atatuambia niambie nini kwa sababu tulikuwa na mambo mengi ma namsema kwetu kwamba the fever should not be your friend unajua ule mtu mnakwanga mchoyo akienda kuinda whenever he comes he comes alone and he is being accompanied by the fever so nasema kwa hiyo kwa wen moja eh kwani una rafiki unatembea peke yako eh isolo anyway today we are here to give thanks to god and i will not be taking much of your time kindly allow me to say a few things na yangu tu nikitoa shukrani kwa mwenyekiti wa shule hii na pia headmistress uh, tangwa afike hapa for years yeah the fifth year i want to say uh, mbele ya wakubwa wako uh, before your bosses kwamba uh, our madam uh, madam director we have no issue as a church as the neighborhood we have no issue with the leadership ya madam watiti mshangilie wasichana we have no issue ametupeleka mbali sana uh, she has taken us hata mimi kama askofu as the neighbor i think for the first time i've slept yeah, kila wakati tunakuwa na shida wasichana sio wametoka wameenda wapi kuna maji sio nini but since she came from transoia uh, is it transoia yeah uh, from Marakwet to this place i just want to say sub county director na county director kwamba we've never had any issue with this lady I've not had any issue uh, na vile wananijua i always patrice i always hit straight mimi sipembereshi kama ni mbaya nasema ni mbaya kama ni mzuri ni mzuri yes if you know metima iti million kama so we want to say thank you i want to say girls uh, you really sang so well uh, i'm happy uh, the way you even sang that uh, uh, folk song that is the way to go we are all kenyans and we want to impress uh, uh, each other uh, hii ni kenya yetu na ni lazima tupendane wote and to know kwamba we are all Kenyans we belong here and uh, we will always be here in Psalms 100 the psalmist is telling us actually to learn to say thank you god knows that we have needs when we tell him our requests with thankfulness he promises his peace so to do kwamba whenever we learn to give thanks tunapotoa shukrani Mungu wetu anatuahidi kwamba atatupa amani. If you are a parent, if you know the truth behind this, if your child needs something and come to you with a grateful attitude, you are much more likely to grant their request than if they are ungrateful. So nimesema kwamba wazazi kama wazazi mtoto anapokuja na akiwa na nia ya kutoa shukrani, chochote atakachoomba uh, tunajua kwamba utampa lakini ikiwa kuna mtoto kati yetu ama kati ya watoto wako ambaye atoe shukrani eh wewe sikumpa kitu even the face can be actually telling you huyu mtoto sio mtoto akitoa shukrani so why should you struggle even giving him whatever he will ask so we are here before god because we want to thank god uh, for what he has done for last year's uh, achievement it is the same with God. He likes thankful attitudes. When we are thankful for what we have and remember how God has helped and blessed us before, our hope grows and our faith increases. So, tunapotoa shukrani, matumaini yetu yanaongezeka. Hata imani yetu inaongezeka. We trust that God is, uh, God's plans are good for us and we know that. So, always 
Asante msichana. Thank you for that test. Yeah, that's a very good test, eh? Yeah, lakini nilikuwa nataka jua kidogo. Unajua hapa. Yeah, yeah. So, nasema nini? Nasema kwamba tunaposhtoa shukrani, Mungu wetu atatuongezea baraka na pia tumaini na pia imani kwa yale ambayo tunakusudia kufanya. So, kama wasasi, nasema ongera kwa kuweza kuja ili tuweze kutoa shukrani kwa watoto wetu. Sio lazima tu tutoe shukrani kwa sababu wamepita. Malazi malazi magitogelea mu mosi. Hapo to sapcha. Lazima magile jo mba ngwe. Ana sigi to kol jamila ko kwa ki. Wasasi na wauliza. Ata sigi ke mi onde utara. Na na lot ni to. To le yi. Malazi magitogo exam ni gele ngwe. Ma ngwe amusa be. Eh? Ma ngwe amui gi lege. Ma ngwe amu genge. Kami ala ke jeke gile ke ngi te lagi ngi te. Ongi net ke ke ma ngwe pole director. I needed to say that to sing the poem home. So being thankful is a connected uh, is connected with praise, as I've just said. So magat ke ma ngwe. Kama kunge pua tana nafas kila mutu apa tunge pua na nafas ya kuimba na kushukuru na kuimba na kuimba uh, vile tunajua katika mila zetu ya Kiafrika eh, ni kwamba hata mahindi ikiiva kuna nyimbo watoto wanaimba kwa sababu mahindi imefanya nini imeiva yes hata wazazi hata na sisi jambo nzuri kitokea let's learn to say thank you lord asante mungu thank you lord nimeamuka thank you lord because of so many things uh, so let's learn to give thanks. Nilisema sitachukua muda wenu mwingi lakini nataka tu niwakumbushe kwamba jambo la kutoa shukrani ni jambo la maana sana mbele za Mungu. Being thankful prevents selfishness and self pity. When we have a grateful attitude, we are less likely to feel sorry for ourselves and turn inward. In Ephesians Paul says Therefore, I also, after I heard of your faith in the Lord Jesus and your love for all the saints, do not cease to give thanks for you, making mention of you in my prayers. That's what Paul, the great apostle, said to the church of Ephesus. That actually, whenever Paul heard about their faith or their progress in life, Paul never hesitated actually from actually giving thanks uh, for mentioning those people. So thanksgiving is connected to prayer. Because of the good report Paul received about believers in Ephesus, he prayed and thanked God for them. When Paul wrote this letter to the churches, he was often sitting in prison. However, instead of Paul feeling sorry for himself and getting the praise, he chose gratitude. He chose to say thank you. Repeatedly, throughout the New Testament, Paul thanked God for the special community of believers that he put in his life. So, I want to urge you, kwamba kila wakati tutoe manena kuwa selfishness, ama kuchipenda, and self-pity. Eh? Napata kwamba kila mali, kazi yako ni kulialia. Kuwache hiyo tabia. Oka se? Yeah, if VIP, uh, I don't want to mention names. It will give us a break though. Uh, so, I want to say this, parents. To sichipende sana baka tunasawa watu wengine. Na tusikuwe na hii tamaya kuji, kuchipenda na kuji. Eh? Selfiti ni hile tapia ya ku, kujiona tu. Eh? Iri rege. Eh? Nege kitu. Eh? Eh? Magi wana basari. Eh? Magi ya. Mwune sikuwe kinye kene. Mwune sikuwe kini basari. Why? Why should you mean? Amune, why self pity? It's because you slept on your job. It's because there's something that went wrong somewhere. Self pity, from authority, but keep on fighting, keep on fighting and giving God thanks. So, when we lose perspective and start feeling like a victim, we need to choose thankfulness instead. I want to tell you, parents, the biggest disease in Africa, let me address the VIPs, the biggest
biggest challenge the, this continent is facing, uh, my Jeepers, is the mentality of feeling that you are a victim. You are a victim to whom? To say, you are a victim to whom? And that spirit of actually feeling that you are a victim will always put you worse excuses. And excuses is a disease. It's backwardness. You cannot tell me today Africa was colonized. Which country was not colonized? Even Britain was colonized by Germans. Yeah. America was, was colonized. colonized by the British. India was colonized. Japan was colonized. But today they are at the top. They left this idea, this attitude of a victim. You are a victim to who? You are a victim to who? Professor. Me pe me tie kiki kisu chwa pa moja fifties. Allah plan ikubu na otima sinjis. Angi jambo ru esiro ni. Ni toareti leruwe. Ago tingo ni tangs ni ni toareti kaptu lai se kwe tan. Lagi ni tan ni kubu makarjo. Imi asingu na gile no ki gaji le. Ki gaji ki gil mo. What did you learn? You wrote on the damn guru's writing. The Quran, the two dot two, the meeting in Mogor Yard, the meeting is writing. Is that wrong mentality? Last Maki is the that mentality. Nobody, eh, to die, Mutu. Uziket, come out, Unamutu now die. Akunamutu now die. Sugarman, I said, I'll go ask a legend. When I was in Minnesota. You are no victim to anybody. You are alive. You are uniquely created by God. The way I had you sing. And you have to fight for your space. In this world. Fight for your space. Given now that you have that opportunity. We are great guys here. Eh? I wish Benio was around. To share a few things. Yeah. Benio teacher. Wabi Kaila. Yeah, Kaila was Benio's teacher. At the Waterigay Primary School. We on the Alwa Malimo Anan. Should Ra should Ray Kaila complain at the how come that my student, my pupil, that I taught in the Rige primary school is the best? Did that make any sense? Because I want to believe when Kaila was teaching Belio, his dream and his prayer as a teacher, is that this boy should grow and become somebody in there? This is that. Anani? So, you stay here to me, 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 you stay here to me. No! Fight for your space. I'm just about to finish. There's thanksgiving in heaven. Heaven is filled with praises and thanksgiving. The book of Revelation gives many examples of how God receives worship and praise. The living creatures in heaven give glory and honor and thanks to him who sits on the throne, who lives forever and ever. Let us all say amen. amen. Yeah, even the angels gave thanks to God, declaring amen, blessing and glory and wisdom, thanksgiving and honor and power and mighty be to our God forever and ever. Amen. amen. So if the angels are giving thanks, why not us as people? Gratitude is proclaimed by all heaven. So, Ata Mabalaika ambao wako binguni, nao pia wanatoa shukrani kwa yale ambao ya nandelea. And we are being told there are 24 elders uh, mwishimia. We've heard that, eh? Revelation 11, 17. And the 24 elders who sat before God on their thrones fell on their faces and worshipped God, saying, we give you thanks, O Lord, God Almighty, the one who is and who was and who is to come. And that is Jehovah. All of heaven, including the living creatures, the angels, the elders, continually thank God and praise God. Since heaven is flowing with praise and thanksgiving to God, how much more should we do the same? Lagoju, I'm not going to Jehovah. Wanafuzi, learn to say thank you. Just because you got a cup of tea this morning, there is lunch prepared for you. 
Somebody in no distance. Leave alone chai. Leave alone tea. Getting even fresh water to drink is an issue. How about you have plenty of water? But in no distance, as I'm talking to you right now, Kuna mtu anatamani apate hata kikombe moja ya maji ya kunywa. Leave alone kukunywa chai. So we have so many things to thank God for. Tuko pamoja. Ongapi wako pamoja na hii jamaa. So let's learn to say thank you God. Let's thank God that this country has a government. This country has a government that is running. We have this one of the representative as the MP. So let's learn to say thank you. There's a lot to be grateful for. We do not have to look far to find out countless things to be grateful for. Perhaps we take many things for granted, like the air we breathe, even life itself. Being thankful for our family, friends, is natural, but is our gratitude visible? In Colossians, Paul is telling us to be uh, uh, tells Christians to be earnest in prayer, vigilant in thanksgiving. It reminds us to give thanks to the, to the Father who has qualified us to be uh, partakers of the inheritance of the saints in the light. He has delivered us from the power of darkness and conveyed us into the kingdom of, of his son, of his love. So gratitude is powerful. Be thankful that God's goodness, faithfulness, and mercy never ends. So I want to say to those many, many remarks, Kenyans, especially us as inhabitants of Wasingishu and Nandi. Hello, Wasaman. Kogim Mengi, the Bob Wasingishu and Nandi. Maybe you can say, Rebecca, you get a good boy, you will say, Gilengo Gol, Oma, Mashi. Golengo shake, Gishi, Kwam Gutti. Onginete Gilene. Ongamatu Longele, Onginete Gilagongui. The Bissu. Ongan Olimi Jabuso, Kikwam Gatti, Golengo Sigis, Dagan Tomozilla Kwamadanga. Then you can move with them. Speak well of those small girls. They could be having one or two challenges. Bijogi is it? Bijogi is it? It's a name. 
I'm a man of God. Huh? You cannot delegate your fatherhood. You cannot delegate your fatherhood. You are a father today until Christ comes back. So responsibilities you get, come out there, carry them. Lule, so we pay pick up and tackle it. We kill again, kill it again. On the saru, on the net, kill it. Magongoi, Arab, I check your logic. You pull it. Basa magalori, you pull it. You check. You batu. Why you need to check? You pull it. You pull it. You check. You want it. If you are not a parent, sit there. Parents who want to make a declaration. We want to make a declaration. To make a man on your the more to do it. A movie. Tulje to le wungu torti le mitelago. Nge ma to kol saone. Eh amwele ni ni. Oh amwele luga. Thank you so much. We want to make a declaration. Na yo muna elewa yo. Oh muna elewa yo. Aya tutasema kwa Kiswahili ya hata hao wengine wafanya nini? Eh pole nilikuwa nimefinya kidogo. Eh, kwa sababu kulikuwa na mese nilikuwa nataka ifike mahali. Eh, jambo ambalo nimewaelezea kama wazazi ni kwamba hatuna budi kuchukua jukumu letu kama wazazi. Kama na nikaweka mkazo kwa wazee. Na nikasema kwamba wazee jukumu lako kama baba uwezi uka azima mtu uwezi ukampa mtu kwamba nimekupatia hii kazi yangu unisaidie wazima is to delegate so nataka tuseme jambo kuhusu watoto wetu kutuwabarikisha wanapoendelea na masomo yao na tuseme pamoja Mungu wetu uliye juu mbinguni tunashukuru kwa wakati huu Tumesimama sehemu hii kwa ajili ya usawa wetu. Tunataka tuwaparikisha watoto wetu. Tunawajua kwa majina. Baba wetu tunaomba baraka zako. Ili kwamba waweze kuweka bidii. Na kuweka juhudi. Kwa shughuli zao. Sana kwa masomo. Tuwaparikisha. Kama wazazi. Umetupa chukumu. Na kuwaombea watoto wetu. Kwa kuwa washauri. Kuwa washauri. Kwa maneno ya maisha yao. Na bidii yao. Asante bwana yesu. Unaenda kutenda haya. Naenda kutenda baraka kwa ajili ya watoto wetu. Kulingana na majina yao. Tuwabarikisha pia walimu. Na wakuu wa shule hii. Na kila moja ambaye anachangia. Kwa udogo ama kwa ukubwa. Tubariki sote. Kwa sababu tumeomba katika jina safi la mwokozi Yesu Kristo. Amen. Bye bye, Jacinta Malala. Jacinta Malala is a teacher of English literature.
principles and deliver best Pastana, your principal is a very confident girl. Sinu kweli? I'm Penda, she's my sister from West Africa. Our chief guest, our area MP, Honorable Bistur, all other protocols of that. Parents, teachers, and students. Good afternoon. Uh, my name is Bokwe Joseph. I'm the principal Sochoy Boys. That is the sister of brother's school. So when my sister told me she has a function, and we work very closely together, so I said I cannot miss. Though we had another engagement, because we have the scouts, scout competition, and so I am very happy to be among you. God bless you so much. By the way, we work together. Even uh, our results last year was contributed by us doing the common exam with Sochoi boys. So occasionally our girls could, could lead them in some areas and they got uh, excited and it motivated them to work hard. And we are still going to do the same. I think Compost know next week we are having a common exam. Do you like it? Yeah. Okay, about the history of the school, I think uh, Bishop has said it all. Uh, it began in the year 2000, and uh, it rests on an acreage of uh, 20 acres of land. The school is AIC sponsored. And I want to say that we have a very good relationship with the church. They, they really support us all the time. And you can see uh, the bishop has even come to bless the occasion. Mother's Day, during Mother's Day, uh, the church mothers came here. Girls, true or false? No. Did you like it? Yes. Yeah, we are working very close to the sponsor. We have a, a cordial relationship. Um, uh, the school has grown even in enrollment uh, 20, from 2017, about 320 students to current around 430 four, four students. And therefore, we are encouraging access as uh, stipulated by the Minister of Education. Also, in terms of performance, we have uh, been improving. Every year, we add value to the students that we get. The year 2017, we had a mean of 2.7. Currently, last year, uh, last year we had a mean of 4.5. And this year, we are targeting a mean of 5.5. <laughs> candidates, do you promise parents and the guests here? Where are the candidates? Do you promise the guests? And the parents that were going to achieve the mean? Yes. The target? Yes. Good. Uh, I was speaking about the school. Myself, I just see that there is something good about the school. And I was telling myself, even if I'm not here, 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 ten years to come, this school will be the example of girls. Ten years to come. The area MP you are here will bear me with. Ten years to come, this school should be like Kapsabi. Because we believe that even Kapsabi, that is our role model, boys and girls, and even uh, the upcoming Samoa boys, it is started in a small way. You can see just recently, 2017, where we were and where we are. Isn't that an improvement? So if we keep on like that, I'm very sure in ten years time, and with the support of the ministry, to construct some facilities here, we shall be very fast. Then, uh, now because of time, I will omit some of the things that I was to talk about. I will omit, I want to promise the parents here who have candidates this year that we are doing our best, we are putting in the 
mechanisms to ensure that these girls achieve the target that we put of 5.5. Uh, by mid, we were having a meeting with the teachers the other day, and all of them have promised that by mid June they should have completed the syllabus and then we embark on comprehensive uh, revision. And I'm sure with that, we are going uh, to make it. The only weakness also, because I want to believe that performance, apart from the principal who is always seen, I want to believe that performance, a teacher has to play a role, a parent has to play a role, and a student has to play a role. But sometimes parents, when we don't say this in time, we wait, wait, and wait. Like from now, the students reported, uh, from the time they reported, some of the parents haven't paid even a single cent. And they haven't sent students away. And sugar right now, I don't know who knows how much sugar is. How do we sustain? The student, when they take porridge or tea without sugar, they see the principal. They don't see you, the parent who is at home. Bills are very expensive. Even maize right now, one sack, how much is it? 7,000. And when we were making a budget, we were making a budget based on the prices those days, that last year. It was about, uh, about the, the sack of maize we projected at 3,000, sugar at 4,000. You can see it's almost tripled. Even the, the, the cooking fund. So the school is ours and we are running the school all of us. And therefore, parents, we need your support. Kindly pay school fees so that we don't interfere with classwork. Because all the time when we send students away, they waste time. And sometimes you find that only three students, ten are remaining in a class. And the teachers sometimes will not teach the three. Even if they teach the three, they will again have to go back. And in that way, we delay even in completion of our syllabus. And we will not achieve the performance that we are looking for. Um, if I can tell you, Areas, as we stand now, this year, this year's Areas piece is seven million. Seven million. serious it is. Now, the staff, the teaching staff that we have, we have 14 TSC teachers. We have a shortage of, we have uh, seven BOM teachers, Madam Director. We have a shortage of seven teachers and we are asking that you help us get more teachers. And teaching staff are 17 in number, and all of them are hardworking, they are doing their work well. Infrastructure. These girls, they learn in a very conducive environment. Those classrooms are very neat, they are tiled, all of them, and some of them have terrazzo. So they are very, very clean. We actually provide conducive learning environment. The classrooms are somehow enough. What we are lacking are dormitories. We have some permanent dormitories, but some are semi-permanent. And we request our EBO area MP to assist us put up some of these classrooms. And to the chief guest, I mean uh, dormitories, and to our, uh, our chief guests as well, assist us to construct dormitories. This place is called and it requires very, very good dormitories for the survival of our, our children. Uh, the office of the CGM, our area MP, at least we had one classroom here uh, constructed by, uh, by the CDM. 
Then we have two classes by the Ministry of Education, those ones. We also have a CBC classroom. One dormitory, or the two dormitories were also constructed using money from the Ministry of Education, and therefore we appreciate. Uh, our relationship with the community, I think Bishop has said it all. We are very good, cordial. Uh, we participate in uh, community welfare. Our chief here, when I came, he welcomed me very well. We talk like equals to, to our chief guest and our area MP. Uh, what I've already mentioned, the dormitory, the teachers, maybe a, a library, and uh, some computers. Otherwise, because of time, uh, I want to stop, to stop there and uh, ask the PA chair to come here and say something just for uh, one minute or two. Clap for me. I have realized you have to call all the time to clap for a speaker. No, now from now, learn to clap for every speaker. Thank you. Thank you, Madam Principal. I take this opportunity to express a lot of gratitude and votes of thanks in the behalf of the parents to the area MP. We appreciate, we identify your presence, we respect you and we give you honor, welcome in this school. I also express in the behalf of the parents much gratitude to the chief guest. We also identify you and we appreciate, we say thank you. And other guests, we also identify you and we appreciate. We welcome you in this function I also express my gratitude to the to the principal and Madam Madam Principal and Deputy Principal for such a wonderful function and their determination to have the school to be the way it is more pleasing and encouraging. I also express my gratitude to all parents for your devotion and your determination and your commitment to our students, also to our teachers and the entire school to have it the way it is. I say God bless you too. I also express my gratitude to teachers for their commitment towards our students. May God bless all of you. I'll just have to speak or talk little mtatumia lugha ya Kiswahili ili ya kwamba kila mmoja miongoni mwa wazazi wapate kusikia ah kulingana na jinsi vile mwalimu mkuu amenena areas ni nyingi na itatupasa tutumie njia mwafaka ili ya kwamba areas iliyosalia na wazazi iweze kufika katika ofisi husika ili ya kwamba awezewe kushughulikia miradi ambazo ziko maana hao wanafunzi wa kikosa kula tutasikia katika vyombo vya habari taarifa kitangazwa kwa matokeo ama matendo ambayo wameyatenda kwa ajili ya ukosefu wa chakula ama kwa ajili ya ukosefu wa mambo mawili ama matatu Japo kwa tunampongeza mwalimu mkuu pia na deputy na walimu na wajakazi wengine wote kwa ajili ya few facilities ambao wako nazo wanazitumia kwa njia iliyo njema kwa hivyo na sisi wazazi na wasii na waomba kama kuna salio kubwa ambalo liko hivi karibuni mwalimu msimamizi wa darasa atakapo kuandikia cheti itikia ile tutafute njia mwafaka ya kusanya senti ambazo zimesalia 
Ninawaomba wote tushikamane mikono. Maana kijiti kimoja ni rahisi kuvunja lakini vitatu sio rahisi kuvunja. Kumaanisha kwamba kama tunataka tuone matokeo yaliyo mazuri bora kwa wanafunzi wetu pia na sisi wazazi mpaka tushikamane na, waz, na walimu na watoto ndiposa matokeo mema ya kwe. Mwaka huu tunatazamia tuwe na nambari nyingi ikipita ikienda university. Ama wazazi namna gani? I am Francis Tong, brand representative from 3 East. I am Mrs. Mary Sawe, representative from 2 East. And I'm um, Alfred Litete Nyango. PA Chair. Pigeni Makofi. Sante sana wa PA Chair. Mgeni wetu wa Eshima. Bayani Director wa TSC County of Nandi. Na nawakilisha wa PS. Madam Regina. Honorable Kitur, our area MP. Bishop Wetu, natuko na wageni kituli kwa atakutia kwa introduce, taki kwa introduce a hizi. The BOM members, the PA members, wazazi, walimu, na wanafunzi ya mjamboni. Mjambo tena. Jina langu ni Kiprimo Lagat. Mimi ni chairman wa board of management katika ishule. Tuko na BOM members wengine. Nataka ni wa introduce. Wazazi waweza kujua ya kwamba watoto vile vile wako chini ya wazazi wengine. Ambao tunashukuliki ya pamoja. Kwa hivyo, nataka BOM members wakuja hapa mbele. Investment, yeah. Investment. Huh? As I said, my names are Alfred Litete Onyango, PA Chair. Kobajina naitua Joseph Kaila, board member. Eunice Koros, Chair, Discipline Manager. Thank you. Gladys Sakaria, board member. Asante. Dr. Bon, uh, Basic, Grand Mayor, uh, BOM member. Yes. So my head is aside a little bit. Yeah, ni member we tu mpya wa board ame report leo. Asante. Mjambo wote, tukuti ya kusai, the vice chair of the board, chair academic. Thank you, you're my vice chair. Asante. Asante. Principal, asante sana. So tuwapike makofi dena. So mnaona tuko na team kubwa. I love that mesikia to the new BOM chair. Ni daktari ya naito Dr. Ball. Geye ni mwadhiri katika juo kikuja moi. Hata my vice chair vile vile. Sumama, daktari. Anaitua Dr. Lydia. Kuzgei. Na yeye pia ni mwadhiri katika chuo kikuu. Lakini hamekuja kunijoin kule county. Yeye ni deputy secretary wetu. Lakini tumikundisha na yeye university. Vile vile mimi ni Dr. Kiplimo Ladak. Mimi ni senior lecturer mwe university. Lakini mimi ni waziri kwa sasa. Ya kwa kilimo na ushirika kule county government ya nandi. Kwa hivyo, 
Kamana tuko na team na mmesikia chairman wa infrastructure wetu ni engineer. Kwa sababu naona tuko sawa sawa. Hmm? Na wazazi wengine tuko na pamoja na wao tunafanya kazi kuhakikisha kwamba shule hii imeimarika na inasonga mbele. Tuko na wazazi ambao wanatusaidia katika pia na naona wamesimama wale representatives tuko na walimu ambao wanaweka bidii tuko na BOM watu wako tayari kwa kazi sasa wazazi tukishikana na nyinyi pamoja hii kazi itatushinda eh itatushinda so kwa hivyo nataka tu ni seme kwa wageni wetu mnakaribishwa kabisa karibuni au area MP tumekuwa tukisungumza na wewe kwa muda mrefu na uliahidi ya kwamba utakuja na umefika Asante kabisa. Vile vile mgeni wetu wa heshima ambaye anawakilisha PS wetu Chang Bilion ambaye vile vile nimetembelea ofisi yake na tumeongelea ile shida tuko naye kwa issue ile tunafaa kutatua na alikuwa ameniahidi atakuja. Lakini kwa ile msiba ilipatikana angeweza kufika na ametuma TAC director Madam Regina ambaye vile vile amekuwa rafiki yangu tangu akuja county tumesaidiana kwa mambo mengi. Kwa hivyo director karibu sana. Tunakukaribisha. Unajua ile shida tuko nayo hapa leo utatatua zile zingine ndogo ndogo eh? ile kubwa utasongesha ifikie kwa kwa PS. Si ndivyo? Na unajua PS unamweleza unamkumbusha sasa zile unamwomba kumbusha yeye ni mtoto ya hii area hii. Eh? Na unaambia yeye unajua hapa ni nyumbani lazima u... Na hata hapa si nyumbani peke yake. Hii ndio uzo ya Nandi. Ukitoka pale na Poi kuingia Nandi shule ya kwanza kupata hapa ni ya Sodoi Girls. Kwa hivyo tunategemea utumbo wako itafika vizuri na tutaweza kuwakilishwa kwa ajili ya ile matarajio yetu na mahitaji. Kwa hivyo sitaki kusema mengi kwa sababu hii ni siku ya wageni. Ile tu nataka niseme ni kwamba sisi kama board tumeletwa mwaka uliopita ile performance umeona hii shule iko na potential lakini tunataka hiyo potential ikuje juu ni himizo tu kwa wazazi ya kwamba tushikane kwa pamoja hao wanafunzi ni wanafunzi wazuri na mnaona wako very smart eh? very clean smart girls can you clap for yourselves mnaona watoto ni wazuri na watoto ni werefu Nitu shida ni sisi tu hatujashikana na nyinyi kuhakikisha kwamba ile potential yao inakuja juu. So kwa hivyo kama board tumekubaliana na walimu tunataka twende na hao retreat next month tuweke strategies na tutahitaji wale representatives wa wazazi wakuwe level. Tuweke targets na strategies pamoja na hiyo tumeongelea na mheshimiwa atakuja kusema ile tuna agree atafanya nini atakuja kusema hiyo. Tunataka kuweka hiyo targets hii shule hatuna shule ya wasichana katika hii nandi east ambaye ina shine kama hii tunataka tu shine vile vile kwa max kwa hivyo tunataka tukuje tushikane si ndivyo wazazi walimu na wanafunzi wanafunzi tunakubali tunataka kuleta hiyo mathematics ikuje juu si ndivyo chemistry biology eh alafu physics zinawezekana sasa mimi last week nilikuwa kwa seven boys nilikuwa na mathematics contest nilikuwa nimetumwa na governor huko kwa sababu mimi nilisomea mathematics nilikuwa nikiwaambia challenge ya kwamba wakati nilikuwa nikisomea hesabu nilikuwa nikijiambia nikiwa second school ya kwamba Eva mathematician can mathematize mathematics mathematically why can't i mathematize mathematics mathematically as mathematician mathematizes mathematics mathematically Sinawezekana Si ndio Na nilikuwa shule ambayo ilikuwa chini hata kuliko hii lakini nikapata A kwa hesabu nikapata A kwa physics A kwa biology A kwa chemistry Inawezekana si ndio Eh so nataka hata nyinyi amuta ni let down Siwezi kupata hiyo ma A kwa shule ndogo na nyinyi msipate hiyo ma A sasa mimi nitakuja tuongee na nyinyi kama wanafunzi na tu agree tuweke targets, si ndio? Na tunaweza kuachieve hiyo. So kwa hivyo sitaki kusema saa hizi hiyo 
mingi kwa sababu wageni wako watakuja kusema mengi. Ningependa tu kushukuru kanisa bishop kwa sababu umetupatia nafasi ya kuongoza katika ushu. Nataka tu ile ile strategy ziko kwa ile mashule ngine. Kwa hivyo principal na walimu wako nataka tuende tuite strategies kuja tu implement hapa na tuende nyingi. Lakini nataka muniahikishie wazazi ya kwamba tutashikana na nyinyi. Tutashikana? Kama wewe ni mzazi na umesema tutashikana na board weka mkono juu. Kina mbaga ya tukule? Tutashikana wote. Asanteni sana. Nimeshukuru na hiyo imenitia moyo tuweza kuja hapa kila wakati tuweza kufanya kazi. Kwa hivyo nataka nisema asanteni Mungu awabariki sana. Napenda kutambua ile progress kidogo tunafanya. Hatungependa kama board na wazazi na walimu kuachilia tu lazima tuweze kutambua hiyo progress tuna make. Na kwa hivyo tickets na wa hivi MP tatuuzu tu tufanye hiyo ceremony kidogo tu ya kuweza ku award wale watu waliweza kutusaidia pamoja tukafikia hapa siku ya leo. So deputy principal please. Thank you so much. Deputy, Council Head, Hawa sasa ndio wametufungulia nafasi ya kwenda university. Congratulations. Kainoche Chumba Sheryl. Congratulations. Our bishop, SED, Asante Sana, Asante Nisana. Sasa, we want to recognize him as one of our committed parents. Asante, madam. Uyu ni mzazi wa Selvin Munda.
press officer also join this team so that you can be awarded. Thank you. I love oh, I'm going to pay your mama. Five by six. We say we sing it to Maliza. We sing it to Maliza. Sante. Thank you, Chief Guest. Mamisho and Bob. 
Domestic engineer. Mnaja domestic engineer. Eh, hapo akuka alikuwa domestic engineer. Ana pia kondo na chief guest asante zaidi. Tupe makofi tufikali. Yes, let me chat. Chief guest, thank you so much. Asante zaidi. Thank you. Chief chief. Aya tu shenge pia vile vile na problem zake hapo. Asante zaidi. Thank you. Yeah. Let's do a shangilia.